Outlining is often an important step to the writing process, but with traditional outlines, it can sometimes be a struggle to organize your ideas in a way that makes sense. How can you tell which ones are the most important and where they should go? Bubble map outlining, also sometimes called mind maps, is a great way to visualize and organize your ideas. To get started, you'll need just a couple of things. Pick either a large piece of paper and a pencil or pen, a tablet and your finger or a tablet pen, a software like Adobe or PowerPoint that lets you make text. Once you've picked out your materials, it's time to start outlining. First, write down what the main issue or topic of your project is, then draw a small circle around it. Next, write down any other words, ideas, authors, important points or facts that you can think of that are connected to your topic that you might want to include. Draw circles around those too. Finally, it's time to start connecting your ideas. Start drawing lines connecting points together, which connect directly to your main topic and which are offshoots or subpoints. Do any points have more connections than others? Are there some that don't connect at all? This can help you visualize which ones are most important and which might be better saved for another project. Here is an example of what this may end up looking like. Notice how the main point has lots of subpoints, and some of them also have more subpoints than others. Now let's look at an example in action. This is a bubble map that I did for one of my thesis chapters. I knew that I wanted the chapter to discuss gender roles online, but wasn't sure which points I wanted to talk about were the most important or how they connected to each other. I've started by drawing my main point in the center, and now I'm adding subpoints around it. I knew that I wanted to talk about comments that were affirming gender roles and comments that were playing with them. Other issues I wanted to discuss were safety, religion, sexism, feminism, and choice feminism, along with people being judgmental. Now I'm circling all of my ideas, and I'm going to start connecting them together. Notice how safety isn't connected to gender roles, but is connected to some of the subpoints, and how choice feminism is connected to feminism, and how judgment is connected to two things. That helped me narrow down what should go where and which points were the most important ones. If you need any other writing help, feel free to come see us in the University Writing Center. Thanks for listening.